hello friends welcome to my session on introduction to r as we all know r is one of the most widely used statistical software like other statistical software spss tata uh, minitab sas matlab r is one among them which is being used widely by statistician and social scientist for data analysis purpose in this video i will discuss some fundamentals of r how you can start with r including its installation of r package and r studio and how you can now import and export data and do some simple calculation etc that i'm going to discuss in this lecture as we all know r is a programming language and is an environment for data manipulation statistical computing graphics and data analysis and has an effective data handling and storage facility you can do simple simple and complicated calculations using r also you can do simulations which simulations which is required for research in the contemporary world if you are doing or you are engaged with research sometimes you need simulation like monte carlo simulation procedure that can be done using r software so r was developed by two statistician named ross haka and robert gentleman in 1993 at the university of auckland new zealand and they made it to open source in 1995 currently this is developed and maintained by our development co team which is a very hard working international team of volunteers of developers this our software is an open source software can be downloaded from the website like comprehensive r archive network it's known as cran and it is a free software the major advantage of this software is it's a free is it's a freely available in the website anyone from anywhere can download and use it and it has many uh software packages are freely available there and it's very easy to learn it has very nice import and export facility that makes are compatible with other tools like csv text and sas and spss form and it has built in and uh, functions like inbuilt functions similarly you can also contribute packages like you can also it has uh, enough flexibility you can write your own programming language you can write your own program also you can contribute to uh, this uh, your package like everyone is welcome to contribute the development of r um these comments can comments can be saved run and retrieve as a script file you can use it later so it has enough advantages over this uh, other software so i will discuss how you can install this r package in your system it it can be downloaded from the website like kran website and you can um, if you are having a windows or linux or mac system platform for each one of them you have separate files you can download from the website and you can install it 
so it's a so easy easy procedure for installing just just do some uh, follow some the usual steps you can install it in your laptop or desktop and the current version which is uh, recent one is 4.0.2 uh, so i will demonstrate how you can download it and you can save it uh, in your okay uh, now i will demonstrate how you can download this uh, our software from website and you can install it in your system uh, so just So you can directly use that uh, go to CRAN here you can see which uh, uh, you need like download for Linux or Mac or Windows since I have window so download window so clicking here install R for first time so here download for windows 4.0.2 this is you can see it's 32 bit or 64 bit as your laptop we just click it here this is being downloaded okay after downloading this R software so let me install it it's already downloaded uh, which is in my download folder so I can just double clicking on this uh, I can install this software into my system since all this software is already installed in my laptop so let me try it I don't need to install it again so what I can do here just go to the icon of okay this is my R icon I just click here just clicking here this is now the R window is open and uh, you you can see here this is uh, like uh, this greater than sign is here the prompt sign we call is prompt and this uh, tells us what is now it means you can write your command here and press it I mean enter it that will execute suppose I write here 5 plus 6 if I enter here this is showing me 11 so in this window I mean this is a this is also known as console uh, sometimes I need my write my script in a separate window suppose I can write it click here new script so I can write I, I can write my script here then I can run it so but sometimes it is uh, advisable to work in R studio which is a interface between the user and R R studio is more sweet attractive one so if I see if you see here similar it's a, again it's a free software which is available you can download that R studio like uh, www.rstudio.com website and uh, just uh, downloading that if you install it uh, because this R studio interface is more uh, attractive one and very useful for beginners because um, I will demonstrate and I will I will uh, use this R studio instead of working in R because that is what I find is very uh, very attractive and very easy uh, uh, for beginners point of view to write your script there in the same window and you can run run it uh, because that looks attractive one and uh, it's a uh, it's easy let me let me demonstrate that so for that I can I have to um, go for downloading R studio uh, if I this is my R studio so this the similar way you can download it R studio and you can install it 
just uh, you can see suppose I want to download this R studio from this site here in the uh, here is R studio for Windows suppose you have Windows you can download from this site R studio uh, the similar way usual procedure uh, adopting few steps you can install it in a successfully in your system or, or your laptop so uh, since already R studio is in my system so let me show you R studio uh, open this R studio because okay so this is opening R studio which is the interface R studio um, I will use this R studio throughout my um, lecture and it's, it's quite uh, see here you have four windows like uh, you this is one this is another so here you can see this is console part you have a separate window here you can write your script and this is about environment in the um, types of data you are using this is workspace actually and uh, data set uh, detail you can find here and this is about the packages help and plots will be shown in in this window so so it is the right now if just just uh, there are few uh, uh, shortcuts if you want to i will show you suppose you want to clear the screen control l this will your console screen is clear and let me start here uh, suppose since uh, uh, you 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 need to write your script here and you are saving in your system sometimes you need to know where is your uh, working directory is uh, there and how you can change your working directory for initial step suppose you you want to know your working directory so it's a get wd in bracket sometimes the control r will also run your program so this script uh, suppose i run here okay so by default this is in my document my working directory is in doc document and suppose i want to change this working directory to um, desktop uh, is set wd uh, I, I need to mention here uh, where i want to change my working directory so it means i have to mention the path so it's a c colon users del instead of documents i can write here desktop desktop if i write here uh, it is changed to my right now the my working directory is in desktop it means whatever and i will i will write here in the script and uh, all my data that um, this will be saved in my uh, desktop uh, sometimes i i use this like hash mark uh, just to put a comment line so so this is about to uh, like change your uh, working directory this this uh, this is a comment line just remember this will not uh, uh, run uh, in your r so change the working directory okay so let us let us what uh, you suppose uh, sometimes it's not easy to remember all the codes in r so r is having very uh, easy way to help you in that sense so getting help uh, while working in r uh, just you need to specify what function you need or what kind of help you need so so it is very easy just simply if i put a question mark suppose i want to know about the function about mean i just write here then run it it will it will show you okay about arithmetic mean function how you can write that how what exactly mean that so detail you will get so similarly suppose suppose you need help 
regarding health uh, search it is quite another interesting uh, idea suppose i need about to know about weighted mean now we weighted mean um, while you use this search i mean uh, just if you just write this weighted mean it is uh, like uh, it have helps the files or uh, total environment where this is being appear so it will show all those documents in the r environment so i can i can again here use the hash mark um, this means search the help sometimes i need to clearly mention these things search the help files in your r window or something if you want to write uh, again if you if you want to just uh, search something about package because there are packages in in r base packages are there sometimes you you need some to know about the package suppose you just write help uh, suppose um, i i need um, one package sometimes uh, i so suppose survival if i run here this is a package in art okay so uh, this is suppose i i write here package because package is equal to survival let me okay so you can get survival package here in the uh, you know you can get this kind of help so it is easy to work in instead of uh, uh, like r window you use r studio window uh, which is more easier more attractive and you can simultaneously see your plot and write your script in the console you will find your output uh, and also you can see in the environment your data structure how what kind of data you have uh, so so it is advisable to install r and r studio because in order to run r studio interface your system must have r in the back end i mean uh, so first you install r then you go for installing r studio so this is uh, in the initial um, you you must first install r and r studio in your system then you start work, working on 